Alright, hello everybody. It is time to start episode 51 of Labyrinth of Toho. Now, we're getting into the point where, um, where I do, I, mean, I am going to need to do a bunch of grinding, basically, in order to take on these next bosses. However, uh, we are currently in a situation which is pretty good for, you know, the purposes of, um, whatever you call it. Uh, purposes of, of recording a video, I guess, is the way to put it. We have some puzzles to solve today, and so that's where we're going to start. Um, we're down here on the 11th floor basement, and the question is, can we figure out how to do all, or at least do some of, these uh, red orb puzzles? And, well, I guess we'll find out. So this one was an easy start. Um... As you can see from where I'm at, there's one that was to my southeast from where I started, uh, from when I came in through that tunnel, and you just can't move. And then I had to move this one the wrong way, but this one was able to be moved in the right way. This at least opens something up for us. It opens up an area with... Goodness, what does it open up? Here's one orb, three switch, or three, I guess they're pressure plates is what you would call them? And some more areas to explore. Now, we're still in a situation where we kind of have to run from all these enemies, but let's see if we can explore this area without wasting too much time and uh, see if we end up with something that looks like it might be solvable. Probably should get Sanai in here, huh? She would help with the constant drain of TP. So what are they leaving us here with? Not much. Not much. It looks like there's going to be a lot of, like, going around hooked areas to kind of bring things back around. Hmm. I mean, I feel like this might be doable, actually. And, and it might- and the, 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 the orb right next to us might be a red herring. I mean, sure, we can push on it, I guess, right? This is not a big deal. But if we push it here, it locks us in. And there's no way out of this area, so this it does seem like... No, wait, there is another way out of this area. I'm dumb. So could we just... Do something like this? Would this work? Well, we can't get this orb out of where it's stuck there, can we? I guess we needed to push it further along, didn't we, huh? Okay, there might be a second way to deal with this. We've got Rumia doing her best to keep us from catching uh, too much flack from enemies. I think this might work. Because like, here's the funny thing, right? This one, I've already opened it up, so... Does that just open this one up? That one opens now. Is there anything else over here that needs to be opened? I just don't see anything. This is a very weird thing, right? Because it doesn't seem to actually be like puzzle here. Like, there's just things that we can choose whether we open them or not, you know? Like, this, if this opens this, which it does, then it just opens us up to a new area. And, um... Okay, we need four orbs here. Okay, so here's where maybe a puzzle starts. Or, you know, who knows? Let's, let's explore a little. This is very strange.
Eventually we'll be able to take these enemies on fair and square, and we'll be able to get tons of experience and money from that, but uh, that day is not today. Okay. Is this it? Did we clear this whole area? Okay, here's... This is this. This also seems solvable. So check this out. I feel like this isn't really that bad. I even feel like there's multiple ways to solve each of these puzzles, which I find a little bit disturbing. Because every one of these little rooms has like two entrances and two exits, it's not really that complicated. I could even bring in the one from the one that I already opened, which I find a little peculiar, but there it is. Now, hold on, before I do that, if I'm gonna go this way, then what I wanna do is this, actually. Right? If this is open now, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> then we can go in here and... Well... It's not obvious to me what's in here, but it looks like it leads somewhere. To here, maybe? Okay, here's an area we haven't checked out yet. There's a red... blocky button. And we've got... Ooh, okay, we've got some... We've got some stuff to do here, maybe. Maybe. It's gonna lock me. Let's maybe do this first. this up already? It looks like I may have screwed this up already. Because I pushed it all the way back. I shouldn't have done that. Huh. So, that wasn't a corner. which I, I thought it was a corner, but it wasn't a corner. Huh. Alright, we got some fun here. I did screw this up, though. I can't. Unless I... And the only thing I could possibly do is this. And push it onto that one thing. Maybe? Oh no, but that one's already taken up by this one, which I can't possibly get off of this side, can I? Yeah, okay. So we're going to need to head back to town to reset this, I think. So I'll do that, and we'll be right back.
Okay, so there's that one, I guess. I, I guess. <clears throat> I guess it pops this one open so I can push this one over here. But this seems to be not especially useful to me. And therefore, it must be that I'm making a mistake. Let's, let's solve this one real quick. we can, right? Because I can now go over here. I can kick this aside. Then we've got a bunch of things to solve here. <laughs> it's basically... Something like this, yeah? I can't push this one up, because if I push this one up, it uh, blocks me from pushing anything forward. So that means... I need to do this, that, 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 and that. Which seems easy enough. But now I've done that, and I've unlocked this, so what's the point? Like, this is weird, right? There, there's no treasure chests or anything here for me. There's just a bunch of puzzles that were easily solved. And so I don't gain anything by solving them, as far as I can tell. Unless... One, two... Yeah, I just don't know. There's, gonna, there's gotta be some kind of trick to it, huh? Like some kind of like really bizarre trick. Like I need to solve all the crosses, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I wish I understood this puzzle better because I am not understanding it right now. There's something I'm, I'm definitely missing. Because what I'm thinking is maybe... But I would need to come in from the other side to get to those ones anyway. So there's something fishy going on here. We're going to have to come back to this. What we've learned is that those puzzles aren't particularly difficult. They're just placeholders for something. Placeholders for I'm not sure what. So, with that said, I think probably our next goal is going to be to open up... Well, you know what I haven't done? You know what I haven't done? Three Infinity Gems... One treasure chest key. I am actually going to need to, to, to uh, grind for a little bit in the Infinity Corridor in order to get some treasure chest keys for the lock chest we're going to be aiming to open up when I get down here. So, quick review. We've seen that there are some easy puzzles to solve in the central portion of the level. We're over here on the uh, northeast side, which has pu uh, tunnels to the uh, northwest and southeast sides. There's more puzzles there that we haven't solved yet, and we know that some of those puzzles hide locked chests from last time. So I need, say, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna get, say maybe five or six treasure chest keys. So I'm gonna go hit the infinity cor for corridor for a little bit. We'll get some gems, we'll convert them to keys, and we'll be back. You guys don't have to see any of the infinity gem stuff unless I fight a boss. So, uh, well, whatever's next is next. See you in a second. Alright, we're here at floor 160, and we've got a boss on our hands. Let's see what we got. Something's creeping around. It is Nidori. Alright, let's see if we can win this fight. Here we go.
Okay, that was pretty easy. Nidori is down. Jewel of Greater Awakening, very nice. I'm gonna keep going, and we'll see, uh, well, we'll see what's next. It looks like at this point, um, just, just, just FYI, it looks like at this point that we have enough Infinity Gems to get more than enough keys to finish up the 11th floor. Uh, so, you know, when we get kicked out, we'll get kicked out, but I'm gonna go as far as I can. I'm not gonna kick myself out, uh, in the, or, you know, for no reason. So, well, I'll see you whenever is, what's next is next. Okay, we are back out of the Infinity Corridor. We uh, got to floor 166 before getting kicked out. What ended up happening was that we ran out of durability. There's one level where there was just like the whole like seven, seven tenths of the level was past one little choke point, and I was too deep into that choke point before I could, before I could make it back. So, oh well. Um, yeah, we got, you know, 32 million money for the run. We get about 15 levels of pop, which is decent, decent. Um, I mean, I'll put the bonuses in later. We actually did get some special items, I think. Um, I always throw some life gems around and all that good stuff. Maybe Aya can have the life gem. Um, a protection gem for, I don't know, Komachi. Wisdom, that's magic base value, so we'll give that to Rumia. Um, and Swiftness, the Swiftness gem for... Now we'll give it to Kasa. Um, we got a Tome of Inside Speed, which I don't think anybody need. And nobody in here needs a Tome of Inside Speed. Um, Sanai could use the Affinity. Nobody needs Vitality. We're kind of running out of what Tomes of Insight can do for this group in particular. Um, we got a few gems here and there, although we don't have much in the way of places to put them. Wisdom is magic, yeah. We could put a patchouli, we a Nazarin. A little energy for some people, one there, one there, something like that. 42 gets her MP up to... Uh, seven times six, yeah. Um, we even got some tomes. Like, uh, here's a veteran's tome for sense, which nobody can use quite yet. That's MP. That's mega MP boost. And we have a veteran's tome for speed, which we could give to Aya and make her even faster. Iku, Chirno, Komachi. Who has some points to spend? Because it'd be like 50 points, right? I mean, we can give it to Cherno and just get her even faster. Um, Aya has points for it, actually. She's so fast already. Even Iku could use it. Um, Komachi cannot use it. I don't know why she didn't have those levels placed, but okay. Um, benefit, I think, to, to Aya. So we'll give it to Aya, since she can since she can use it. There we go. Um, the other thing worth noting is that I already went and bought enough treasure chest keys for the time being. Five should be enough. Because only four of those puzzles had what looked like treasure chests behind them, and then that'll leave us with one extra key. Question mark? We'll see. Um, <clears throat> in worst case scenario, I'll save Scummit. Um, but we're probably just going to pick up everything there. Um, what else? I guess we can make sure that everybody's skills are all up there. Yeah, you need 250 points for the Mega Boost. Oop. Komachi can finally finish those two out. That's good. Of course, she's totally spent on points now. Pretty good shape. Um, the other thing to do 
uh, is we got one awakening, right? So who do we want to give it to? Well, who's left? Rumia has one. Cherno does not, but her awakening is pretty bad. Um, based on uh, Diz's um, studies of it. We have Riggle. Riggle's not a bad choice. Yeah, we're kind of down to the choice between Wriggle and Cheerdog. So I guess we'll go with Wriggle. But we do want to get one for Cheerdog. The goal is to get everybody um, decked out with an awakening that I ever that I pretty much ever use in the party. Um, that would be nice to do. As for here, it's too bad we can't se um, like sell some of these back, because we have too many of these and too many of these. we do that would be good. Uh, probably a veteran's tome for somebody. Maybe we can get one of these. Just get it and hold it. Yeah, that's fine. Now we at least have one of each of all of the um, thingamajigs. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna level everybody up real quick. Um, I'll spend some cash on magic library levels, that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll be right back, and we'll get back down to Basement 11 and uh, see what we can do. Be right back. All right, here we are down on, what do you call it? Floor Basement 11, I guess? Um, as you can see, there are two spaces that require three orbs, right? And the question is... How do we get things over there, right? So my thought, and I mean, I could be wrong about this, but it looks like we can probably push this, the, 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 the one near the center of the screen, kind of on the westmost chunk of this, westmost flat center of this area. And then, then that one, Probably that one. We can open up one of the things for a chest. So I'm gonna go work on that. Let me get over there and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. I think that I can push this one a little bit north to here, right? Now we can't go south from there because, or I guess west from there because there's a corner. But we can go this way. And we're still going to be running away from all these enemies, which sucks, but that's just going to be how it goes. there. And this comes up and goes straight on through. And we'll push it all the way in, because why not? But then we got this guy. Now it can't go here or here, because these are both corners. Oof, in fact, there's a lot of corner action going on altogether. This is a little bit worrisome. So, corner, 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 still a corner down there. But we can do this, right? Gotta run from another fight. 
But, uh... We can go back around this way. We can navigate corners, it's just, it's just the orbs that can. Right? Second one. This is very nice. Now we just need to get number three over here. And it should be fairly easy. As you can see, there's one over in this corner. I wish I could just have them leave me alone, you know? Um, but yeah, we can, I think, get this one over to here pretty easily, yeah? I, we move it south and then west. Actually, it might be a little more complicated than that. Let's... Here we go. I'm actually thinking that I want to put it here. Which seems like overkill, but... I think it's not. I think this is where we want to go. I'm going to put it here. Go around. Kick it there. Now we have to curl back over this way. But that's doable, right? And then we just curl back around here, just like with the last one. We're gonna push, push it this far, I think. We probably could push it one further. I, I'm really, really hesitating to push it up against walls if I can avoid it. So, this may be a few extra steps, but I think it still I think it still solves the, solves the puzzle. Indeed. Pop this open. We look around in here. In fact, it's just a little thing. And what do we get? A scourge. Okay, good item. Good start. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to reset because we have to push things further if we try to push them from here over to there and it might not even be possible. So we're going to leave the dungeon and I'll come back and we'll start on the other uh, treasure chest. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Everything's reset. Now this one's going to have to go to the south and it's a little bit more... It looks like it's going to be a little bit more of a... What would you call it? Like a serpentine path? But I think what we're going to need to go do is go go west, or go east just a little bit, then go mostly south, and then back west again. Um, yeah, because otherwise we're going to run into corners and uh, walls that we aren't going to be able to get around, I think. But I think this works. Be a little easier like this. See? We push it this way. We go around here. Ooh, this doesn't work, does it? This doesn't work, does it? Because we're not going to push it south from that wall. Okay. Hold on. Let's let's back this up before we make a mistake, right? Maybe here? No, maybe not. Maybe this way. It seems crazy to do it this way. It's so roundabout. But I think this is how you do it. Three, four, over, and down. Okay, that's one. 
So as you can see, we've got two more on this side, and we're just gonna work on that. Let's see if we can get these through on the first try. Hopefully we can. I mean, this one seems easy, right? Up one, and then across. And then straight up. Like, amazingly easy, honestly. That's number two. Third one on the way. Probably gonna need a fight or two. But since we're running, it doesn't really matter. Okay, this one, huh? Well, we can't kick it south, because it'll get stuck there, right? That means that we have to kick it north. There's no way around that. So we'll go here, maybe? It needs to go all the way. We can't push it into the corner. Pushing into the corner would be a really bad idea. I think we actually want to go... I mean, we could do it. Uh, 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 uh. No, that's wrong. We can't push it north from here. We have to push it south. As counterintuitive as that seems. We're going to have to go this way. Just like this. And now it's in the place where the other one was, so this is a solved problem. Yeah, yeah, guys, shut up. Uh, that means like, we're gonna get you, and it's like, no, you, you're not. We're just gonna run away, as is our way. But here we go. Very nice. Uh, we'll unlock it, because why not? Platinum and Dorian card, very nice item. And so you see we've got those two. And now the question is... What to do next? So there's something here that I'm a little worried about. And that's... Corner, corner, corner... Yeah, okay, so the next one... To get that central one, we're actually going to have to take the two from each side and put them onto those two, kind of in the central chunk of the level. So once again, we'll leave the dungeon. We'll hop back in. And we're just going to go through with this. This should be doable. Although perhaps tricky. So, like before, we're gonna push this one to the north. And we have to be very careful not to bump it into any, um, into any corners, right? We need to go straight north from here. I don't think we can. Yeah, I think we have to go north from here. I mean, they're fun puzzles, but they're pretty simple. Fortunately, since you have a map, you can kind of suss out all the different pathways. Yeah, hi guys. See you later. Um. Now, do we go two more steps? I think we definitely go at least two more steps. Do we go the, the additional two more? That's the question, right? I think we do. We pop that there. And now we pop it to the south. Right? Then we can push it, like so. There we go. Now, the next one.
This is where it gets tricky, actually. I'm not liking this. In fact, I may have screwed it up by going... Mm, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I'm gonna try to... try to repair... to try to, like fix it, but I don't like this. Yeah, we can't get it north from here. something fishy about this. There's something I'm not... There's, there's a mistake I'm making somewhere. Yeah? You know what? I think... I think I might be going about this the wrong way. It's crazy. It feels crazy. go further. Here. Like so. That doesn't get it into a corner, and it does give it, give us the ability to move it in various directions. Yeah? Like here. Head up here. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is the solution. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Okay, that's half done. Leave me alone. I hope we have enough TP. Okay, now we gotta repeat the process with the, the two up top here on the north side. Now, how do we how are we gonna get there? As before, we can't push it south from here, so we've gotta Actually, let's, uh, let's start with this one over here. This one might be easier, even though it's further away. Yeah, this is the tricky one, remember? We had to actually go south. Oops, wrong button, sorry. If I remember correctly, we had to go south, and then this way, right? Pop that up there, pop that over there. <sighs> I think it needs to go south again. As crazy as that sounds. Hi guys, bye guys. Um, like, I think it needs to go here. And then I need to circle around. I think this does it. Because we put it there. here. Now 
Now, in theory, actually, you know what? In theory, it might be better to actually push it the further way. Like, if I put it here, I can go bop, 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 right? Then from here, we can kick it south. And then back east and then south again. And this seems like it was, uh, like a waste, but I have this weird feeling like there might be a blockage issue or something. So, there we go. Now with this one, remember we can't go straight south, so we have to go east first. And we can't take a lot of these paths because they have corners in them, so we have to go all the way down here. Guys, seriously. And come all the way down here. But I think this I think this this solves it. And we can just pop that there. Kick it south. There's that. Now we're gonna wanna like triple check to make sure that those two things are openable in this situation. So let's try these out. That one opens. That one opens. And now we have another fight that we're just gonna run from. We just gotta push this guy straight shot. All the structure over there is just to be tricky. Boom. Done. This opens this path, which kicks that open, which gets us over here. Oh wow, it's actually kind of expansive, huh? Let's make sure we just check it all out, because we don't have to like make our way back through here if we, have, if we don't have to. My suspicion is that it just leads us to a tunnel. And tunnels are great and all. This puts us here. Leave us alone, please. This puts us here. Well, that's interesting. Look at all this. There's a lot going on here, actually. We have another puzzle. And we don't want to push that one. Yeah, yeah, I got see, see you later. Um, now this is going to be tricky, too. Look at the way it's structured. Like, it's not just a wide open space, there's like, tricks and annoying bits. Yeah, look at that, that looks unfun, but look, what's this? It's a tunnel. So it puts us here, which we can access through the, um, through the relay point, which is nice. This actually doesn't look that hard, honestly. Now that looks bad, right? But I think it's not, actually. And I'm overshooting that deliberately. So what I really want to do is... Wait. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to have to think about this for a second. Okay, okay. I, I, I thought about it a little bit. And this one just needs to go up north, right? 
This one needs to go up this north. And then I need to come back down here and kick that one back. And this was a little easier than I thought, but... Fortunately, we didn't screw it up. Bam. Now this one comes up north, or no, this is west. Oh. Another group of enemies, whatever. This pops this open, and we push this through. One down. I don't know why I'm doing this right now. I guess, I guess what's gonna happen is that I'll probably just like show the solutions and then I'll have to redo them probably because we're gonna well we can always go get those treasures later maybe maybe yeah well let's see what we can do here um huh this one looks more complicated yeah we can't push that one that's for sure um We could do this. I'm gonna try this out. Let's see what happens here. There's a corner there. Corners are bad. We'll just push that away for the moment. Yikes. This one's tricky. Ooh, yeah, tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, like that. I guess it's not technically a corner if you. Did I screw it up? Maybe not, maybe not. But I can reverse that. I feel like I might even be able to reverse that. Not sure. Not sure I trust it. I might not need to, actually. I might be able to just go this way. like that, maybe? That might be a mistake, too, huh? Yeah, I might have screwed it up. Because because I don't think there's a way to get anything here now. Oh, that's a shame. Um, but I think that's I think that's true. I think I'm stuck. So if you screw these up even once, you have to start the whole level over, which is horrifying as far as, like, the way things go. Yeah, see, there's now no way to get anything over here. So that means I have to restart, unfortunately. restart. That's a shame. Okay, well, we have almost a solution for... The solution is probably to actually push something up here, but leave it here, and then uh, go from here, and then kick it this way with nothing here, and... Thanks, guys. And then kick it kick it to the, to the west from here. So we know what the solution is. Hopefully we won't screw it up again, but uh, we did screw it up this time, so I'm gonna head back to town. And uh, we will go work on the, the uh, southeast side of the level next. Be right back. Okay, here we are on the southeast corner, or southeast chunk of the level. We've got kind of, ooh, uh, we have a more complicated situation over here. Because instead of having to, like, push a bunch of things in the same over the same areas, we have to get everything into that central area, which sounds like a pain to me. So, I think I'm gonna... Wow, 
There's a lot of corners in this level, too. Oof, this looks rough. There's a lot of corners. Um... Okay, I'm gonna... I think I'll aim for the treasure chests first. That just seems to be, like, the way to go. So how about this guy? If we want to go, if we want to move it to the south, or I mean, let's let's go to the really easy one, right? Because this one's super easy. It's just bam, and there it is, right? Only it should be fine. I think we can manage. And then we got this one over here. Now, how do we get this one? to that southern area without any without pushing up against a wall, like a permanent wall, or pushing it into any corners. So, here, here, leave us alone. Here. Here. Here, 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 here. I think that's the solution. See that? The trick is to always go towards areas where there's, like, um, um, at least three ways into some area, and usually four, honestly. So, and it's fortunate that all these areas loop in on each other because that's totally what we need here. There. There. Now this is a long walk, right? Well, I couldn't push it south from there, that's fine. I'm not writing these down as I go because it would take too much time out of the recording, but... No, it goes all the way south. It goes there. <clears throat> it's always good to stop at the, at the, at the four-way intersections. Kind of get your bearings. But we've got this one. We just gotta go back around, down, over, and in. Alright. So this way, there's a bunch of corners here. Like this whole area, there's corners this whole way, so we can't possibly take this one this way. We gotta think of something else. And it can't go south either because it'll go up against the wall. So that means we have to go this way to start. There's just no there's no choice here. We can't push any for, for, further north because it'll hit a corner. But this is doable, I think. If we go all this way, right? up here. Right here. And I think that this gets us to a, you know, a, a known solution, right? Yeah. Here's the four-way where we were just a minute ago. And where I was like, this is where we need to be, but it wasn't, because we need to go further. Or, that might not be the right place, actually. I mean, it's close enough, because I can go south from there. Like so. So, I didn't quite reproduce my solution the last, from the last time, but that's okay. We're gonna get ourselves a lock chest. What do we got? Give us something good, please. 
for the love of grinding. BFG. Okay, it's a good item. Not super amazing. I mean, it's it's good. It's nothing new, I guess is the thing I'm worried about. All right. We'll cycle back in. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Get that other treasure chest. Let's look at this. So everything has to come in from here. So we have to get everything here. And then from there we can you know, put it in any of the particular places that it goes. So this isn't too bad. Um, I think we can do these basically one at a time as as uh, individually as we want. We can use this bank of four ways. Not sure if, I mean, there's clearly multiple solutions, but like, I'm not sure how different the solutions can be. Leave us alone. Wait, was I? I... Sorry, that was a complete whoopsie on my part. That's, a, that's okay. We're gonna... I guess we're gonna do the main thingamajig this time, because that's what I've started doing. This one's not too hard. There's a lot of extra walking, but I'm okay with that. I was like, let's get the treasure first, and then I start fiddling with these ones over on the wrong side of the area. No big deal. No big deal. We're gonna put that there because I don't want it I don't want it to be in the way when I bring this other one down here. That is to say this one. TP, it's ridiculous. Okay. Looking at this one. I think we can do it this way. If we just... Kick it north a little bit. It's not too bad. We can keep going east from there. Or west from there, sorry. See? Maybe? Eh. I don't know if it's the ideal solution or not, but it's, it works. It gets us there. Leave us alone. Should have brought Chen along so we could lose fewer TP per run, but I didn't think that far ahead. Here we go. Two down. All right. Next up is this one. Similarly, we can't go off to the um, to the east, so we're gonna have to go up through this again. Which is fine. This is what we did last time. Got to avoid every corner. Got to run from every fight. Because we're still like a hundred and some levels below. This seems trickier than it is, I think. yes, I have to pass this by, but it's just the same trick once again. Only I have to walk in the opposite direction, I guess. Oh, I have to walk it twice. Bah. <clears throat> but this solves this one, I think. I'm gonna do just for sanity's sake. I'm gonna push this down one further. 
Because I think it'll make it easier to maneuver the other two into place. That's my thought. My conclusions may be proven wrong, but I must act on them regardless. This one's not hard. South? And then this way? Right there? Little jog north? Come on, game. Give me a break. And the same silly story. It's just a long walk. And we got one more to bring over, and then we are finished with, uh, at least with the purple puzzle thing, right? Now this one's tougher. I think we have to go like this. Because it's corner, corner. It's gotta go further. It's gotta go to here, yeah? <sighs> I think... I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I think this is how we want to do this. <coughs> it maybe involves a little extra walking, but I think it's the shorter path for the orb. The orb. Yeah, and now I just need to go around, kick it up to, kick it north to, and uh, then push it east into the, into the area. We're good. One, two. Get that one. Open this up. Oof. What in the world? Oh. It activated, but it didn't give us a text box, so I was very confused. That's okay. TP if we're not careful. I guess we're not getting any experience, so even if we lost some TP, it wouldn't be that big a deal as long as we didn't lose the whole front line at the same time. Which for some reason is a wipe. Even if you're out of battle. Tunnel. Puts us here. I'm down with that. We'll just explore this real quick. tricky too. Okay, this one looks tricky. Maybe it's not that bad, but it sure looks tricky. This one... Maybe not. fun one. I 
I think you almost have to fail this one once. Because one of these two paths is not going to let us push it all the way. Yeah, you see that? Yep. Oh no, there's a third one. Look at that. Oh wow, that's this one's tricky too. I clearly screwed this one up, but now we at least have the, the map, you know? I can even do that to fully clear it out. Okay, this opens up all four of these puzzles, which we're going to have to do in one run, basically. Without mistakes. Um, but that's okay. They seem doable. But what we missed, what we forgot to do, because I'm um, absent-minded... Which is a which is a four letter word four syllable word for stupid is uh, I forgot to get this treasure chest over here so let's go do that real quick it's nice that they they're letting us run and uh, just run from all the fights because that means that I don't need to do any editing <laughs> that there just so it's out of the way but it's basically the same deal we're gonna have to push this one like this have to run from the fight here we go this is the start for this I think this is doable. I'm gonna try it. I'm a little, a little unsure, but I think this might work. This is a bit of a walk. But we can just go this way, right? And then straight south. And then another little walk. Not too bad. And then another little walk. Oh, you know what? I could probably push an additional... It's fine. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, that one's done. Just one more left. And we'll have another treasure chest. That goes there. That goes there. south but there's no way to get it to go in that right in the western direction from if I pushed it south so we have to push it north and then we have to take a long walk I think is there a faster way around there new no. I don't think so Here we go. Our treasure chest. And I did it again. I know. It's okay. Alright, treasure chest number four. Potion of life. I mean, we have several of those and we know where to get them, so that's fine. But uh, now, last thing to do is to solve these four puzzles. And they have to all be solved in one go without any mistakes. This one's easy, so we'll just solve this one first, right?
Whatever, dudes. One down. Okay, this one we almost solved last time. But we just barely screwed it up, right? These five come in through here, and these three come in through here. That's the trick, yeah? Give me a second, I gotta think about this a little bit. It feels like it should be easy, but it's totally, like, I very much feel like I'm risking making a mistake that kicks me into, like, nowhere land. I think this can go up this way. I mean, I need to get this one north, which means I need it over there. So I can maybe do this? Oh, it feels... Feels tricky. But it works, I think. Then we've got these guys. Where you just gotta make sure not to hit them into the wall. And then... Huh. Hold on a sec. So I think I should just push these through. Just to get them out of the way. And this can go here, right? And then all I have to do is get this one up top. It should be pretty, pretty easy. Right? Isn't it? Is it? Yeah, like this. Just like this. Alright. And that should solve this. Which allows us to pop that there. Two down. Two to go. Hmm. Now these ones we haven't quote-unquote solved before. So this is where things get messy, possibly. Four of them over here, and three of them over here. And some of them, so I, I think we want to try to fill this in from here? Question mark? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kind of thing? And maybe this isn't as bad as I think. Maybe it's not. Because I can do something like this, right? I'm just going to put it there. Because I'm not sure. Yeah, check that out. See? At least one of them has to go through there. And maybe more, honestly. I just put two of them next to each other. Oh, I might be screwed. the wall. I have to be careful not to do that, right? But I can take this one, right? And do this. Oof. Um, I can maybe get this one out of the way? This is where it gets tricky. Oh, man. Put that one there. Put that one there. 
question mark? It looks like it might work. Yeah, this might work. This one wasn't as bad as it looked. It looked bad, right? But it actually wasn't too wasn't too crazy. Because we could just do this and come up around this. If this was like a one by one, that would be a problem. But there's that. Number three. And we just have to look at this one. And this one is is tough, but. Be a trick to this one. Like, if I do that, does this just become easy? Did I break it? Did I break it, or is this the only? possible solution. No, it can't be this easy, can it? But it sure looks like it's this easy. <laughs> no way, no way. Is that the solution? Or did I just find a shortcut? I don't know, but uh... Bam. Pop that. Oh, it didn't... No, come on, what? I have to pop both of them? It looks like yes. Okay, so I pop both of those, that lets me in here. What does this do? I hope there's a tunnel or something. No way. Come on. Come on. This is crazy. Look at this. Leave us alone. We're busy. No, it's just a single switch. By touching the ball of magic, it disappears while sending a strong wave of magic up to the top. We've opened something on the 30th floor. Is there anything else left to solve here? We got those treasure chests. We went through all the tunnels. We solved all the ball puzzles. I think we're good. Did we finish basement 11? I think we finished basement 11. It's crazy, but like... That's, that looks like where we're at. All right, cool. Uh, there's one treasure chest over here that I didn't get. Oh, that's the one that's the phosphophilite. We're ignoring that. That's fine. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we're going to head back to the 30th floor and see what's up there. Although I should probably see how much time I've spent recording. It's, it's actually late on Sunday right now, and I try to finish my recordings on Sunday. But we'll see. Um, we'll see how much time is, is in what we've got so far. Um, maybe I'll close out the episode. Maybe we'll do level 30 next time. We'll see. Anyway, be right back. All right. I went and looked at all my footage, and I think we've got we've got probably about an hour and a half of footage that you guys are going to want to see. Mostly solving puzzles, a boss fight in the Infinity Corridor. But like, um, I think we're going to do that. And that way I can do a little bit more grinding for next week before we start exploring the rest of level 30. I think that's my plan. So, a little bit of short recording on my part, but I had some issues that took time up this weekend. And uh, anyway, we'll, we'll pick this up next week. We'll explore the new areas in level 30 that we now have access to. We'll grind some more, which I'll cut out for you guys. And we're going to try to see if we can take on another boss or two next time as well. So that's our goal. So yeah, we're going to call this an episode here. This has been episode 51, Labyrinth of Toho. Um, yeah, we've 
of finished exploring Basement 11, which I think is a pretty big deal, honestly. Especially since they gave us a bunch of puzzles right at the end. But yeah, we did pretty decently on that. We got those treasure chests. And uh, we'll pick this up next time. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, you know, feel free to leave a comment or something if you think there was something interesting in here that, or that you'd like to hear more about. And uh, otherwise, I will see you all next week. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Later.